So, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I love this film. It's proved rather divisive. It's pretty much split 50-50. Some critics are giving it five stars like myself and people at the Daily Mirror, various other online or newspaper article places like those on Rotten Tomatoes, you can go check it. It's not as simple as someone likes it or dislikes it, but that's far from the point of this video. So I really enjoyed this film, but the thing that after watching this for the second time today on its release date, because I was lucky enough to see it before, I realized how intricate and detailed JK Rowling's screenplay is, and it's rather incredible. I think it's one of the best screenplays of the year, and the way she writes it, sets up so much of what to come and personally I don't have a problem when they've set a certain number of films to come in a trilogy or like a continuation of a story and they've set five for Fantastic Beasts. I don't have a problem with them leaving it on the cliffhanger. I think that's really intriguing, makes me want to go back for more and I don't have a problem with it being open-ended. But obviously some people may take issue with that, that it should be one whole story, but I think the way JK actually writes and crafts a screenplay is rather intricate and it's all about Grindelwald's manipulation that he is a master manipulator and throughout this entire story if you go back and watch it more carefully the second time you can see JK Rowling planting these words in Grindelwald's mouth and the whole time since the start of Fantastic Piece 1 he is trying to get Credence to come to him and all of Grindelwald's plans come to fruition by the end of this film, that was the story arc, and that's complete, so they've completed that, now it's about Dumbledore, and also the big reveal to do with the ending. And obviously Grindelwald's a massive thing still, it's gonna be about like the three of them, and then Newt and his friends, in this third film, and then fourth film, and then fifth, we'll see how it ends the actual series of films of Fantastic Beasts in the coming years. And just before we head towards the end reveal, we the Harry Potter fans get a reveal and you understand what's going on and that was like an oh shit moment for me. I was sort of freaking out in the cinema when you saw the Phoenix actually come out of nowhere and the Legend of the Phoenix, as I said, to do the screenplay, it's all implemented early on, all the ideas we get it mentioned early on with Dumbledore and so it comes to fruition and we see that a phoenix appears that in the legend a phoenix always comes to a Dumbledore and in this case it comes to Credence and it's revealed at the end Credence is actually his birth name is Aurelius Dumbledore the long lost brother to Albus Dumbledore. So that was a major reveal. Essentially what's going on is he was lost when he was a child. He was sent on that boat that you see in the film and Lita Lestrange switched the babies over and Lita's brother actually died and drowned and in fact the baby she saved, they don't put much emphasis on it but it's there in the screenplay, it's there in the visuals, you have to pay attention to it. She takes Credence and that is the baby, that is the Dumbledore and in that scene Grindelwald says your brother is coming for you and that was just before the ending so I'm guessing by now he's realized that the blood packs that he has with Dumbledore has gone missing the sort of vessel that it was in and he knows that Dumbledore is going to be coming for Grindelwald and that is the only reason why Credence was to come to Grindelwald in order to defeat Dumbledore because he knows if Dumbledore has the ability to fight Grindelwald, which he now does if he can destroy it, Grindelwald only really stands a chance if in fact he is backed by Credence, another Dumbledore. So he has extreme power which runs in the family. And so that is like all I need to explain as in regards to the ending and the idea of how JK Rowling sets up every scene and sets it up via the screenplay. Essentially what these next three films are going to be, you know, the complete series of films of five they've said they're doing, which is very, very exciting to me because I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. Harry Potter is my favourite films of all time and I love these Fantastic Beast films. I think I prefer The Crimes of Grindelwald. I think it's really, really well done. The five films are mainly about how Dumbledore became Dumbledore, according to J.K. Rowling. Obviously, all of this is surrounding it. We're slowly building up to how everyone is in the future in Harry Potter, how Dumbledore becomes this wise professor, 
and obviously in the film we get to see Professor McGonagall, which was a really nice touch. You sort of just freak out when you hear that name, and you even hear the voice, you recognise it, it's very similar. And when it's revealed it's just a massive shock and it's amazing. It's an amazing experience seeing these different aspects of what we know from Harry Potter and so she's implementing it more, that being JK Rowling, and so we're gonna see how Dumbledore became Dumbledore that we knew and we know in Harry Potter lore there is a massive fight between Grindelwald and Dumbledore because as you know in the future in the Harry Potter films Grindelwald dies at the hands of Voldemort when he's actually locked up in a cell so it's all getting to that point so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you could share it around with your fellow Harry Potter fans that would mean so much to me I love talking about Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye